Um, basically, my question that I hope Ms. Wilson can help me with is around this idea of reduced expectation versus the affirmation by the Court of Student Civil Rights. Like, what are the criteria for evaluating what's a violation of privacy? Is privacy a civil right? I think so. Maybe the law isn't so sure. If I went through your desk without your knowing, would you feel like your privacy was violated? Yes, I would. So? Feelings aren't a legal argument. In the New Jersey case, the teacher assumed the girl was guilty because of her feelings. That's called reasonable suspicion. It's all the police need to search a car. So it's about what's reasonable? That's what courts are for. Really, it's just about people, though, right? Whether they conform to what we think they are. It's not that simple. Nothing ever is.